Okay, what's up guys? It's XX Modern Warfare Game to have Band of Chicken, and I'm here to show you how to set up Excellent Kai. This is going to be a full in depth tutorial because uh, quite a lot of people have problems connecting. Uh, they have lots of issues trying to join other people's games and stuff like that, so hopefully I'll get by all the problems that you have. If I still haven't got by all the problems, uh, leave a comment below once the video is finished and um, I'll try and help you out if I can. Um, okay, so Excellent Kai is a program that you can use to system link your Xbox with someone else's Xbox across the internet basically. So you can connect to loads of people online through System Link. Now you can do it. You can uh, use Excellent Kai for a retail Xbox, but you need to have a ping of under 30 milliseconds. So I wouldn't recommend it unless you do have that kind of connection. Or uh, even on a JTAG or an RGH, you need to have the ping patch. Um, if you don't know how to get the ping limit removed, well, you need to use a program called Dash Launch. But uh, I won't go into that, but I will put a link in the description on how to set up Dash Launch so that you can remove uh, the ping limit so that your ping can be much higher than 30 milliseconds and you'll be able to still connect other people on Nexon Kai. Okay, so yeah, I'll put a link in the description to that so uh, you guys can set that up if you need help. Uh, okay, so to get Excellent Kai, simply go on Google and type in Excellent Kai. It should be the first link there, www.teamxlink.com.co.uk, sorry, and um, click on sign up. Signing up is pretty basic, just create a username, password, e put your email address in, select the location where you're from, uh, like United Kingdom, US, whatever, um, your age, your bandwidth is not too important, uh, if you don't know what it is just click unknown, select the console which is Microsoft Xbox, click on, click here, Microsoft Xbox. Um, when I created my first account I ticked all of these boxes, so, uh, so I'd recommend ticking every single box, but if you really can't be bothered then just select the games that you're going to be playing. Um, this isn't important, apart from the headset part, I'd say yes, uh, if you have a headset. And yeah, you can allow them to send emails to you if you want or not optional. When you're done, click submit and then click on, uh, click submit, we'll send you a, a verification email, um, click the link to activate your account and then try and log in. If you can log in okay, then you'll be able to log in on the program. Um, so to download the program, click on the downloads link here. Um, select your operating system, I'm using Windows XP so even if you, even though this doesn't say Windows 7 in it, uh, it will work on Windows 7, 32-bit. Uh, I'm not sure about 64. Um, I try it anyway, but it'll definitely work on Windows 7, 32-bit. And then click download. Once it has downloaded, I'm sorry, but I'm talking pretty fast. It's just uh, I don't have a lot of time. I have to fit this into. Uh, 20 minute video which sounds easy but there's quite a lot of stuff to cover so um, okay so first of all now that you've installed the program well downloaded the program double, uh, open the exe install it it's pretty basic you know just agree to the terms and conditions click next a couple of times and then install once it's installed you have these three uh, configure Kai, Start Kai, and Start User Interface. So, click on Start User Interface, and you can sign in. Now, sometimes you will get a problem saying searching for Kai Engine, and it won't let you sign in. So, this problem can be solved by going into Configure Kai. Once you're in here. Make sure you, it's a standard GUI program that you're using. Oops. Um, 
that's what you want to use. The web interface isn't as good, I don't think. And my tutorial here is going to be showing you uh, the UI program. So don't tick the web UI interface. Um, <clears throat> okay, so uh, make sure the language settings are correct for you. And um, make sure close engine after a certain amount of time is never. Because that would be really annoying. Get closed after half an hour when you're right in the middle of the game. Um, packet capture engine, put PSSDK and enable PAT. And put the port as 30,000, the web UI port 30,000, and you can just leave the deep port as zero. Um, as for your network adapter, it's, this depends on whether depends on what connection setup you have. If you're connected to the internet using um, a wireless device like a wireless adapter, a wireless card, a built-in wireless card in a laptop, then you want to click on your wireless card which might be called wireless LAN card or uh, wireless network adapter or something like that. That's what you want to choose. If you're connected with Ethernet to your router then you'd be selecting local area connection. I don't have it here because I'm on wireless. And if you are connected, if your Xbox is connected through your PC, then you must be using either a network bridge or connection sharing. If you're using connection sharing, you want to click on wireless. It'll still be it'll still be the wireless adapter if you're using connection share. I may be wrong. It might be wireless. Ah, it must be must be wireless network adapter if you're using network sharing. If you're using a network bridge, which I definitely recommend on XP because I think it's far better than network sharing, then you'd click on Mac Bridge Mini Port. This is only if you've got your Xbox connected through your PC with an Ethernet cable and then your PC is connected to your router with wireless. Okay, so once you've selected the right adapter, if you still don't know what right adapter is, you could try auto detect. I wouldn't recommend it though, because uh, it can get it wrong, <laughs> and it has done quite a lot before uh, for me. And yeah, so you don't want it to auto detect really. Or you can try each one until one of them actually works, but that's a slow process, so try and find out which one you're using. Um, what you can do to definitely tell which adapter is getting you the internet is go onto the command prompt. This will be useful for later as well. Type in ipconfig, one word, hit enter, uh, and then it will say whichever adapter is supplying you with internet. So here's mine, Ethernet Adapter Network Bridge. So I know it's Mac Bridge Mini Port because that is the network bridge. If yours says Wireless Network Adapter, you know it's your wireless network adapter you need to choose. Okay, so now that you have that done, click save and load up user interface. Type in your X tag. Click on the little magnifying glass and click on this tiny little arrow which will extend the page. Uh, now what you might get is network reach reachable and it'll say not yet. To fix this, uh, click on switch to arena mode, choose your arena, Xbox, first version, I'll go on Modern Warfare 3, because it has 57 users, and try and join, get in an arena. And now, if I go back to the magnifying glass again, now the network is reachable. Now it might still not say network reachable yet because your ports are not forwarded and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you will need to forward your ports and even if it's letting you sign on uh, it still probably won't let you connect to somebody else unless you have your ports forwarded. Uh, so to forward your ports um, some people think it's pretty difficult, it's really not um, it's fairly easy to forward your ports. First of all, you need to find out, you need to get to your router's homepage. Now, your router's homepage uh, is not 
in you type it in in the URL bar of your internet browser. And to find it on that IP config I typed in, as well as saying where you're from, uh, which adapter it's using, sorry. It'll also say your default gateway, and that is your router's homepage, your default gateway. So for me, as you see, it says 192.168.0.1. So if I type that in to the URL and click enter, I hit enter, and it'll log me into my router. Well, it asks you for a username and password, most likely. Um, if you know your username and password, then just log in. Some people might not be able to because they don't know what it is. So ask whoever manages your network or whoever set up your router in the first place what the password is. If they don't know, try looking on the back of your router. It sometimes tells you the default username and password. Um, the default username and password on a Netgear router is admin and the password is password. Um, on other routers it can be different though. Some routers it's the path the username is admin and the password is also admin and then some of them uh, the username is admin and the password is nothing. There is no password. You just log on. Um, but that's only the defaults. So if somebody in your family has actually changed or the password you'll have to find out from them obviously what the password is and then log on. Okay, once you logged on, you want to port forward. So, obviously, each router's homepage is going to look different. Most Netgear routers look the same as this. Um, you want to go to services. Now, like I said, each router is different, so some of them might say it might be under firewall rules or firewall settings or something like that. Fire firewall settings or DMZ, or some of them might actually have. Um, a hyperlink to um, what DMZ that port forwarding. So you want to select port forwarding. Anyway, when you get to this, you want to add a custom service. Uh, so the name, call it anything you like. I just call it Excellent Kai. Type UDP uh, TCP slash UDP. Now, if you can't do TCP slash UDP, uh, like it's not there, um, you're gonna want to forward it for TCP, and then you want to port forward the same thing again, exactly the same, for UDP. So you have two, uh, but you don't need to do that. If you have TCP slash UDP, you only have to forward it once. Um, the port is thirty thousand. If this port is already being used on another program that you know of. Uh, use a different port, but you'll have to make sure in the in the um, configure Kai that the port is the port is the deep port and everything, the UI port and everything is the same port as the one you're forwarding. You always gotta make sure that. So. Okay, so I forwarded my ports and that was pretty easy. If you need any more help, like your router, you don't have a clue how to do it on your router, um, go to a site called www.portforwarding.com and um, search up your router and search Excellent Kai. It actually has Excellent Kai in portforwarding.com and it'll show you how to do it. Um, that's that really. Okay, one other thing is. When you're port forwarding, it might all also ask you for your local IP address. So that's the local IP address of whatever's providing you with the internet adapt the internet adapter. So um, just go back to your command prompt and look at the IP address part. 192.168.0.3 is my one. If yours is different, then that's fine. Uh, just enter that in to your port forwarding if it's asking you for the local IP address. Okay, so now you can start up the program again. Um, if it still says can't find Kai Engine, go back to configure Kai, click save, and then run the user interface again, and it should work. Um, 
the network should now be reachable again if it's not like I said just go into a game arena it should show up reachable now if people are still saying well if you cannot connect still to anybody's game then there's one reason might be that your firewall is actually blocking um, your firewall is blocking the excellent Kai engine that can happen a lot uh, if you're using uh, an antivirus firewall like Norton or AVG um, I'm not sure how you disable the firewall or make exceptions in that firewall but if you're just using Windows firewall like I am um, go into your control panel it's the same on Windows 7 basically it's in the control panel um, go into your firewall click on exceptions and scroll down to the bottom and look for excellent Kai engine now if it's not there then that means it's blocking it or if it's unticked it means it's also blocking it so if it's unticked make sure it's ticked and if it's not even showing up in this list then you need to add program and the program you need to add obviously is excellent Kai uh, shouldn't have done this take the ages to load uh, yeah, so you just select uh, your excellent Kai whatever it is you've got to say and yeah, it'll be in program files somewhere and find your excellent Kai, click OK and make sure it's ticked or if it's still not working you can try disabling your firewall completely but that will put your uh, yeah, I'll put your uh, computer at some serious risk if you do that uh, okay so what else could you do if there's any problems yeah okay um, you might not be on the same title update as your other players that's another thing that can happen their game will not show up or your game will not show up for them if you're on different title updates also another problem that might happen is you used to be able to connect someone but now you can't could be because if there's another person in your arena and his ports aren't forwarded and he's establishing link and you're trying to join somebody's game and the guy who's establishing link is also trying to join his game you won't be able to connect because his ports aren't forwarded so you need to make sure his ports are forwarded and obviously whoever you're connecting to you've got to make sure his ports are forwarded and to check, obviously, it's easy to check. If his ping's showing up, he's got his ports forwarded. If it's saying establishing link, they've not got their ports forwarded and they need to forward them. So, that's that. Another reason I can think of that might go wrong is if you try and connect uh, to it and it's not working, uh, network's not reachable, some routers port forwarding is really crap and uh, when your local IP changes because it can change quite a bit the port forward uh, the port is still forwarded to your old local IP so you have to re-forward the port on the IP you're on now that can happen also you need to get excellent Kai to detect your consoles so when you've clicked on the magnifying glass click on this little kind of folder thing here and it'll say no consoles have been detected yet to get it detected click on search go into your go into your um, game whatever game you're trying to play and click on system link find match and keep refreshing until your console is detected if your console still isn't detected then excellent Kai might not be working properly and it might be something to do with your Xbox, you might need to use another program called SB, uh, SBS Link, which is also a good program, or check the local IP address on your JTAG and make sure it's a 192.168 and the Ethernet's not loose or anything. So that's all the advice I can give you for now because I'm running out of time. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped a bit. If it hasn't, um, uh, ask me for some help on uh, leave a comment asking for help and I'll try and help you so thumb up the video subscribe and thanks for watching guys